Hey stylish fans, Elizabeth Cott here for Closet Rich and today we're going into the closet of Kat Sadler from E! News. I'm very excited to see what her closet has in store, so let's go! My name is Elizabeth Cott and I believe you can learn a lot about a person from the contents of their wardrobe. Join me and get inspired as I take you into the esteemed closets of celebrities and fashion icons. We'll then choose items from their closet to be auctioned off and through eBay you can bid on some of their favorite pieces and make your closet richer. The proceeds will be donated to benefit a cause close to their heart. This is Closet Rich. Hello. Cat, how, how are you? Sorry. This is us. Good to see you. Come in, come in. We have a lot to catch up I on. Know. Come on out. It's a gorgeous ah. California night. This is my cat, Indy. Hi, Indy. I am so excited to see your closet today. I'm excited to share it with you. Now, I know you're on E! News, obviously, now. I'm really interested in how you got to E! News. That was a long road, is what that was. I spent almost 10 years in local news. I am Kat Sadler, live this morning in the Castleton area. Before I was actually at E! I jumped around a lot. I went from Indianapolis local news to San Francisco. That's when I started doing live TV, traveling to New York and LA and interviewing celebrities. And so that was about seven or eight years of doing that before I decided to have my first son, which meant taking a year off, but then always knew I'd get back into television. Everyone said, oh, well, she's done. She quit to be a mom. I said, no, 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 I'll be back. I wanted to come to California. I wanted to see what Hollywood was all about. So I took a couple meetings and believe it or not, my second meeting was at E! So I was so nervous and excited and all that because here I was this, you know, little local girl from Indiana. I thought there was no way this like mom of two is gonna land this job. But I guess the experience paid off. So it's like, wow, I can go in the room and hold my own. So it was a very, very special time when I got the job. What was the transition going from Midwest mm -hmm. to Los Angeles? Because I personally had a serious style crisis. <laughs> it was like, I didn't know what was up from down, really. Yeah, I know. This whole amazing world opened up to me. They're like, you're meeting with the stylist this week? I'm like, stylist? I get a stylist? <laughs> That's really when I fell in love with clothes. They became more of an art form to me. I learned to appreciate fashion a lot, and that was that was great. We know you look fabulous on camera. What about when you're not at work? Mm -hmm. What's cat style like then? My style has kind of remained true to what it always has been, kind of relaxed. I am a jeans girl. I mean, through and through my whole life. I love denim. Effortless, really. I have two kids I chase around. I'm like at the ball fields on the weekends and stuff. You're such a great example of being able to balance the two. Oh, good. I want to go check out your closet and see what's going on in there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Awesome. Come on in. Wow. I see a lot of maxi floral, some nice prints, and some, some leather. Leather's yeah. my latest true love. Maybe the biggest splurge in my entire closet is my Balenciaga leather moto jacket. I oh, mean, yeah. this is my best friend. The holy grail of leather jackets, in my opinion. Well Good. said. And worth every penny. <laughs> Anything in here that you have a sentimental attachment to? There definitely is one thing I can think of, actually. Hold on. This little Diane von Furstenberg dress. Obviously a classic wrap dress. I was in the first year, I think, of my first full-time TV gig in San Francisco. I remember the day I got this, exactly where I bought this in Union Square. It just reminds me of how I wasn't so cynical or jaded by the industry, to be honest. This was like back when I was still a little naive. I was a little girl, so when I look at this dress, it just kind of takes me back to some of my innocence, I guess. The DVF wrap dress, never going out of style, so I think that that was quite the purchase. And it still fits 12 years later, how about that? Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of things that mean a lot to me, this, I mean, look at the sheen on this. This is obviously one of the classic silhouettes for Burberry for their trench coat. I got this from Burberry headquarters in downtown London when I was there working the Olympics over the summer. So it was amazing. Got a tour of the entire facility. And then I left with this coat. That I won't be forgetting anytime yeah, soon. Yeah, pretty serious. You'll have that forever. Mm -hmm. So what's the mom? Look. Well, that's easy. <laughs> my flannels and my favorite sweater that I live in in the fall here in California. Yes. It's a Topshop sweater. It's super warm, feel that. 
And I think it's quite fashionable. I mean, I think the fact that it resembles a blanket probably <laughs> adds to its fabulousness. You can borrow it anytime. Awesome. Do you have anything, perhaps, that you'd want to sell and donate the money we get from it for a charity? Absolutely. I would love, love, love to help out. This is a really fun party dress. Ooh. I mean, how cute is this? It's a great, great dress by Style Stalker. The lace top, very on trend, right? And a cute little skirt. I love this dress. I felt fabulous in it. This is beautiful. I, I would wear this myself. This is so cute. Why don't you? Tell us about the charity that, that you'd like oh, yes. to help out. Women Like Us. It's actually my mom's charity that she founded, and I'm a president of the Hollywood chapter. It's all about girls empowering, engaging, encouraging young girls. We do fundraising for them to kind of give back and teach them in the area of like academics and etiquette and fashion and beauty. So I would love to get some proceeds from this dress Fantastic. and give it right back to the foundation. It is from your closet, and you did wear it. Yeah. So I think that that ups the ante a bit. All of the proceeds for this dress from Style Stalker, from Kat's Closet, are gonna go to Women Like Us, a really incredible charity. Thank you, Kat, so much. I'm so excited about this dress and I'm so excited to get to hang out with you, hear your fantastic story because it's so inspiring. So thank you. Come back anytime. I, okay. I will. What a great story from Kat Sadler. I had so much fun hanging out with her and I'm seriously obsessed with that black Style Stalker dress, which you can now fit on on eBay with 100% of the proceeds going to her charity, Women Like Us. Next time on Closet Rich, we have Emily Schumann from Cupcakes and Cashmere, one of my favorite websites. Her closet is amazing. I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Until then, stay Closet Rich. I want to see the your go-to flats oh. that are... These are my little lombins that, you know, look like you can just roll them up and put them in your purse. Yes. And these are those new Nye West flats I was telling you about. A black flat you will be wearing the rest of your life. A plus. A plus.